I tried to set up a redox reaction, but it blew up in my face. Oxidants happen. That's right, today we're talking about half reactions. Hit the theme! Ain't nothing but a chem thing, baby. Too flipped out, teachers going crazy. Lancaster is a district that pays me. Unbreakable, so please don't try to break hey. this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Hello and welcome to another episode of Shufu coming at ya. I'm your host, Fu, and with me as always is Shu. Shu, know it. So Shu, in the last video we talked about what oxidation and reduction are. Yeah, and in today's episode we're going to talk about how to represent those two processes in something we like to call half reactions. So let's get started. Half reactions, a lesson from the redox unit. Oxidizing and reducing agents. An oxidizing agent is the element that causes oxidation, thus it is reduced. A reducing agent is the element that causes reduction, thus it is oxidized. All right, so this is one of those moments where you can remember something as just being the opposite, right? So the word agent, when you see that, think of it as the opposite. So the oxidizing agent is the one being reduced, and the reducing agent is the one being oxidized. It's always that way. There are no exceptions. All right, we're going to do an example. Are you ready, Fu? I am. All right. Determine the oxidizing and reducing agents in the following redox reaction. We're, we're gonna treat this like any redox reaction and find all of our oxidation numbers first. Okay, so it looks pretty easy. I got Na as an element, so that's zero. Um, I got chlorine, Cl2, that's also an element, so that's zero. Um, and NaCl, that's plus one, minus one, like it's been since forever ago. Um, so we're all set. All right, let's figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced first. Okay, so Na is going from zero to plus one. Uh, that's going up in oxidation number. It's losing electrons, so that is oxidation. Okay. And uh, chlorine is going from zero to minus one. That's going down in oxidation number. Down is reduced. It's gaining electrons, so that is reduction. All right. Now we want to figure out what the oxidizing and reducing agents are. So based on what we just said for what's being oxidized and reduced, we can figure that out. Okay. So... Um, this is just the opposite, right? So if Na is being oxidized, um, that means it must be the reducing agent, right? So Na0 is my reducing agent. Right, so we don't mix it up with the Na plus on the other side. Yep, and then Cl0 is going to Cl minus 1. That is being reduced, so that must be the oxidizing agent. So Cl0. Good, not to be confused with the Cl minus 1 on the right. Okay. You try number one. Determine the oxidizing and reducing agents in the following redox reaction. Writing half reactions. Half reactions break down a redox reaction into an oxidation reaction and a reduction reaction. They show the number of electrons transferred, with electrons a product of oxidation and electrons a reactant for reduction. If you look at the image above, we've got an oxidation reaction on top with the electrons on the right and the reduction reaction below it has electrons on the left as a reactant. Both mass and charge must be balanced. The number of electrons lost during oxidation must equal the number of electrons gained during reduction. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have an example here for you. Shoot, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, write balanced half reactions for the following redox reaction. Shoot, go ahead and give oxidation numbers to everything here. All right, so C, A, and S are both elements, so zero. And then in the compound, C, A is plus two, and S is minus two. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what's being reduced and what's being oxidized here. All right, so C, A goes from zero to plus two. The oxidation number is increasing, so we must be losing electrons. That's oxidation. Very good. And then S is going from zero to negative two. Uh, we must be gaining electrons here, so that is reduction. Okay, so when we're doing half reactions, we want to show each individual oxidation and reduction. So we're going to write out ox and red for short here. Right, ox and red. And we're going to do oxidation first to kind of show us losing the electrons so that we can lose them so that they can be gained, okay? Right. So what is being oxidized? Uh, we said it was calcium. Good, so we're gonna write out this in uh, notation of calcium going from what its oxidation started as as a reactant to what it became as a product. All right, so it's Ca0 
zero when it started, and then after the reaction, it was Ca plus two. It went Good. From zero to plus two. Good. And this is oxidation. Oxidation is losing electrons. So for losing electrons, what side of this equation will electrons be? Okay. So for losing them, we're getting rid of them. So it should be on the product side, over on the right. Good. Right? So let's write down the electrons on that side. Now we have to balance the charge. So what's our total charge on the left? Uh, over on the left, it's just zero. Okay, and we gotta make sure our total charge on the right is balanced with that. So how many electrons will we need to balance out calcium's mm, oxidation Okay, state? well I have plus two on the right, so to make that zero I'd need negative two, so that would be two electrons. Very good, and that's the half reaction for oxidation. Right, very good. Let's do the reduction half reaction. So which element's being reduced? Uh, so it's S0. Okay, and what is uh, S0 becoming? S0 is becoming S negative two. Okay, so this is reduction. Reduction is gaining electrons. So where would the electrons be written in this case? Uh, they'd have to be on the reactant side, the left. Good, in oxidation, it's always on the right. In reduction, it's always on the left. Good, okay. so let's balance our charge again. What do you notice different this time? Uh, well, it's zero on the left, but negative two on the right. So we're gonna have to balance not to zero like we did in oxidation, but get everything on the left to equal negative two like it is on the yeah, right. Yeah, remember, it's not make everything zero, it's make everything balanced. So we're gonna balance the negative two here. All right, so um, to get these to be equal, I'd need uh, minus two over on the left-hand side, because it's plus zero, right? That would equal negative two. Very good. So I'd need two electrons over here. Good, and as a final check, it's always a good idea just to glance back at your oxidation half reaction, just to make sure that the total number of electrons lost equals the total number of electrons gained. Okay, so in oxidation, I lost two electrons, and in reduction, I gained two electrons, so they are equal. Very good. Okay, we have another example. Shu, are you ready? I'm still ready. Okay, let's write balanced half reactions again for the following redox reaction. Again, go through, give everything an oxidation number. All right, so I've got zero for Al, plus one for H, minus one for Cl, over on the right, Al is always plus three in a compound, Cl is minus one, and H2 is an element, so that will be zero. Okay, our next step is always to find out what's being reduced and what's being oxidized. All right, so it uh, looks like Al is changing from zero to plus three, charge is going up, that is oxidation. And let's see, Cl is staying the same, H is going from plus one to zero, that's actually going down, so that is reduction. Okay, let's write out ox in red for our oxidation or reduction half reactions. We're gonna start with what's being oxidized, which we already recognized as Al. All so right, we so have some coefficients here. All right, so should we leave the coefficients to keep everything the same? Now remember, mass and charge have to be balanced. So we wanna maintain that mass, so we're gonna use our coefficients. All right, so I'm gonna leave it as two Al zero. I write the zero, right? Very good. And then we're turning into, over on the right, it's still 2Al, but this time it's plus three. Very good. So remember, this is oxidation. Electrons are a product here because they're lost. But let's figure out how many electrons. This one's a little trickier than the previous example. All right, well, I know I have zero on the left and I got plus three on the right. Well, remember our coefficients here. Oh, okay, so there's actually two plus three charges. So that would be, I multiply, get a total of plus six. Very good. I wanna get it down to zero to be the same as the other side, so I need a minus six here. So I guess I need six electrons, not three electrons. Looks good. Let's do the reduction half reaction. All right, so, all right, reduction, reduction. So I, you said to keep the coefficient, so Very I'm good. gonna go six H plus one. Good, and remember, this is reduction. We're always gonna have those electrons on the left, so it's okay. a good idea to keep a space there. All right, so I'll do the plus E minus right away. And then over on the right, so this is an element, so do I just, all right, it's three H2, right? I'm gonna leave yeah, it. Yeah, like so when that. it comes to elements, we're going to keep the uh, uh, subscripts. So diatomics okay. have those subscripts of two, so it's three H2. But we're gonna remember to distribute that too when we do the, the math here. Okay. So uh, it does look like I have six on both sides it in terms does. of the, the mass or number of atoms. I put the zero there. So now in terms of uh, balancing, 
I've got plus six on the left. I have zero on the right this time. All right, so we're going to bring that six down to zero, right? So this would have to be minus six. So that is six electrons. And like you said before, I can kind of do a check. So I lost six in oxidation and I gained six in, redu in reduction. Very good. Wait, another, who made these notes? Yet another example. Right balance half reactions for the following redox reaction. Shoo, are you ready? I suppose. All right, go ahead and assign oxidation numbers to all these. All right, so Al in a compound plus three, O is minus two. Uh, on the other side, Al by itself is zero. Oxygen, even though it's atomic, still an element, is zero. Okay, what's being oxidized? What's being reduced? All right, Al is going from uh, plus three to zero. That's actually going down, right? So that's reduction. Very good. And O is going from negative two to zero. So it's going up. That is oxidation. All right, let's set up our half reaction with ox and red. Ox and red. All right, so what's being oxidized again? Uh, that was O. Um, it's O minus two, but let's see, I, I remember you said I have to keep the coefficient. So it, is it two O three negative two charge? There's a lot going on All right, there. so when this is in a compound, we're just gonna distribute that two to the three and we're gonna make it six of them oh, total. Okay. Because there isn't a such thing as O3 negative 2. No, there's like no polyatomic ion. Exactly, okay. exactly. All right, so I'm going to make that a 6 instead of 302. Um, and then it's going to, all right, now you got me confused. So do I write this as 6O on the right? All right, so if you're confused, just ask yourself, do I have an element or do I have a compound here? Well, this is an element. Good, so if it's just an element, we're going to keep that subscript. Oh, okay, so it's allowed to have the 2 now. Yeah, so, if it's in a compound, make both the subscript and the coefficient one coefficient. If it's an element, keep the subscript. All right, sounds good. So 302. Okay. Uh, I know I'm losing electrons, right? Yes. Uh, so electrons will be a product. But, all right, so I got to make sure I take into account the coefficient, right? Correct. So six negative twos, that's actually negative 12. Wow. Uh, and this, I forgot to write the zero here. So this is zero. So it looks like I'm going to need 12 electrons to make it negative 12 on the right to be equal to the left. Looks good. All right, that's a tricky one. All right. Okay, so what's being reduced? Uh, that was Al. I'm gonna apply your rule now, so it's not two Al2 plus three, it'd be four Al when I distribute. Good, again, because Al is in a compound. So four Al plus three. I know I'm gonna have electrons on the left this time, I'm gaining them. And then over on the right, just four Al, it's an element Al zero. Very good. So how many total electrons are being gained? Uh, let's see. So I got plus 12. I want to go down to zero. So I need a minus 12. So I'd have to have 12 electrons for reduction. And I lost 12 and I gained 12. And it seems like I got everything. That was tricky, but you nailed it. You try number two. Write balanced half reactions for the following redox reaction. Remember to assign oxidation states, figure out what's being oxidized and reduced, and then write out your half reactions, ensuring that your total number of electrons gained is equal to the total number of electrons lost. You try number three. Again, write balance half reactions for the following redox reaction. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode on half reactions. It's been emotional. And today we're going to talk about how those two processes are part of... Something I yeah. like to call... Yeah, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about how those processes, I can't remember. You don't have to remember. What, how does the Burley Spirit make you want to say about half reactions? Yeah, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about how I can't do this. I don't know why. <laughs> they show the number of electrons transferred with E negatives as a E negatives. <laughs> uh, you know what? You needed to do that right now. I'm ready. All right, we're going to write half... <laughs> <laughs> oh, rapping all day and rapping mm -hmm. all night. We got this. Today's episode is brought to you by Fight Milk for bodyguards by bodyguards. 100% real protein.
But we never are, for we zone to the break of dawn S-E-I-E-N-C-E in the hall, they call S-Wing You know we never wear a tie Like my homies, boys, two men, it's so hard to say goodbye Like, like this, that, and this, and a It's like that, and like this, and like that, and a It's like this You're going in low power mode Plug and chill to the next episode